The best way to deal with forces in any mechanics or statics questions involving forces is to break them down into their horizontal and vertical components. So to do that, you're going to be using F sine theta or F cos theta, depending on the forces and the question. So breaking down into horizontal and vertical components is really useful for getting a good view of what the forces are doing to the objects in question and for balancing horizontal and vertical components. The coordinate system you use will vary depending on the question. So for a question like this, where you've got forces acting straight up and down, you're going to use horizontal and vertical coordinate system. On the other hand, when you've got, say, an object on a slope, it's easiest to use a coordinate system that aligns with the slope that you're going to be using. So whenever you have a force question, make sure you break it down into the horizontal and vertical components as it's so much easier to deal with.